Well, good morning. I've come out on this fine summer's morning into the forest to an area called Doolittle Moss and I was hoping to get some nice dramatic landscape photography. But I think as you can see behind me, the, the insects are all over me and the sun isn't going to play ball this morning. I'm going to be left with a very windy and probably drizzly start to the day. But I'm going to spend a few hours here anyway and see if I can get something decent. Now I've come back to an area I've shot a couple of times before on previous videos as well and I'm drawn to it by the trees and the mosses and just the, the way it looks when you actually capture it is actually better than when you see it in real life. So I'm going to get the camera out, I'm going to put on a moderate telephoto, crop out the sky, get rid of the distracting foreground and see what I can make of it. Well I've made two exposures there of this scene, really cropping into the the woodland with the slender trees there and I've managed to shoot at quite a, a widish aperture for a long long focal length like this on medium format f11 because I have no real foreground detail there to worry about and I shot at uh, one second and two seconds now the reason is I want to keep the movement to a minimum there's a bit of swaying going on in the trees if I wanted to get everything in focus I would have needed f22 would have got movement I've had to beat a bit of a retreat from the open location as that before because it started to drizzle and rain a bit more and my camera's not waterproof in the slightest so I think I'll work around this area here for a little bit because there's some nice detail shots to be had. Well, I've just come back through the forest and I found this little clearing area behind me where the mosses are starting to show through. It is the middle of summer so I'm getting some really vivid colour and I hope I can bring that out on my Ektar 100 colour negative film. It also benefits here from the fact that I'm underneath the trees so I'm getting some shelter from that drizzle. <laughs> Well sadly I had to give up on that uh, last composition, I just couldn't make it work and I'm not prepared to just take any old shot, I'm, I mean I'm desperate but I'm not that desperate, not today. But look at this behind me, it's not perfect, I mean the light's not great, but it does look good through the viewfinder of my little Sony RX100 I'm previewing with. So I think I'll take a shot here and I may actually crop this one down to a sort of letterbox, you know 16 to 9 or maybe even uh, you know, 2 to 1. <laughs> I ended up taking uh, a couple of frames there, um, nothing spectacular as I said, but I have managed to do one with a wide angle so I'll probably crop that down. Another one I did with the standard 80mm on the Bronica and I'll probably keep that as a square. I'm not totally convinced though, the composition was a little bit weak, but sometimes it's worth taking these shots, get them back post-processing, might be able to bring something nice out. <laughs> Mm. 
Well, by chance, there's a little bit of sun breaking through. It's only very milky. I don't know if you can see it over there, over my left shoulder. And I have got the background of the forest with a rather attractive tree sort of breaking away from the rest of the group. So I think this is definitely worth expending a couple of my final frames on. Well, that's just about the end of this little outing. Not a very long trip by any means, just an hour or so. And just one roll of film, which I'm going to send off on my way back now. Not bad though, you know, still got out into the woods, had a bit of fresh air. I think I'm starting with a cold, so it's going to do me good anyway. Uh, get these images developed, get them back into the blog, and look forward to the next trip out. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you again on the next trip. <laughs>